Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, again we are back with the new lab, SQL injection attack, querying the database type and version on MySQL and Microsoft. Yeah. So previously we have solved this Oracle based one. So now we are going for the Microsoft and MySQL. Let me go to the lab. Uh, SQL injection attack. Ding, ding, ding. So this lab contains an SQL injection vulnerability in the product category filter. You can use an union attack to retrieve the result from an injection injected uh, query. To solve the lab, display the database version string. Sure, definitely. So let me go to this. Let me access the lab. I don't think this is very difficult. Straight away, uh, I'm telling this point like we are going to solve this lab in one go. Uh, this here, uh, the Microsoft and MySQL, right? It says MySQL, Microsoft, correct. Okay, so here in Microsoft, the comments are dash dash that's all the the next will be comments but when it comes to uh, mysql after dash dash you definitely have to give a space here it is clearly written see note the space after the double dash and also here uh, we have this information that for microsoft and mysql this should be there select at the rate at the rate version okay uh, let us go ahead gifts yeah we can every time i think we are going for the gifts this time we are we will go for pet okay uh, union select just like that we def we should not forget the basics that's the reason we are giving this yeah it, obviously it should throw an error if this is expected because we did not give the space after these two dashes or two hyphens or two minus okay uh, rather than giving a space we will give a plus here and hit enter yep so this word this means we have two uh, columns in in this response and with one column let us paste this thing at the rate at the rate versions select at the rate at the rate versions and let us see what happens yo yeah it says congratulations you have solved but yeah this is the version so this is why we said we are going to solve this lab in one go so only one thing that we need to remember that if the if the database contains mys is is of mysql then we definitely have to give a plus after commenting so that it will recognize as this is a commenting so this is the complete part of commenting syntax and let's go to the hint he has given some hint here yeah obviously this is the cheat sheet so I have pinged it already in the last lab you saw that so you can go through this cheat sheet and uh, you know the in the earlier in, in the coming labs uh, uh, the labs are going to be a bit tough and uh, yeah we are also going to fight very tough with the labs thank you thank you for listening have a great day